and to actively assist charity businesses, cooperatives, charities and other organisations in obtaining funding to reduce their own carbon emissions and to assist, assist culture residents in reducing theirs. So that is what the council seems to be too afraid to, uh, to debate. It's not, it's not controversial, it's common sense. It's fact, it's reality. <laughs> for that but we need strategic thinking and we need you to declare a climate emergency that 80% of the other councils in the United Kingdom already have done and yeah, you've, yeah, not yeah. Done that. Yeah. you've not done that Labor. you've not done Labor. that Labor. Labor. don't be a climate denier well good for you would you like to say something <laughs> yeah. if you're supporting Stephen say something sir yes yes right okay ladies and gentlemen right, right in front just uh, a few quick words for me. I'm Gary Ridley, the opposition, the Conservative group here. And I thought it was important to come today to tell you what our position is, not just on climate change, but also on this motion today. So when Stephen was elected just a few weeks ago, we said to Stephen that we would work closely with Stephen, as we do with any party on the council, to make sure that we work in cross-party cooperation where we've got shared objectives. If saving the planet isn't a shared objective, then I don't know what is. Can there be anything more fundamental than protecting the world that we live in today? The sad truth is that we suggested to the Green Councillor that we would second Stephen's motion, and the Council agreed to that, and then two or three days later after we put it in said, no, you can't do that. That's not allowed within the rules. I don't know what you think, that's either down to gross incompetence from the people in that building or political interference. You choose what you think is the cause. I know what I think. The reality is, the reality is, colleagues, that we've got one chance to do this and we've got one chance to do it right. We've got to save this planet, not just for ourselves, but for future generations. If the people in that building can't even declare a climate emergency, then what hope is there? Absolutely. So today here, here. we're here supporting Stephen. It's a cross-party position. The Conservative group in Coventry, if we are in control of the council, would declare a climate emergency. You have my word on that, and you have my word that I will work closely with Stephen over the next four years to actually make sure that we will deliver this. It's really, really important exactly. that we deliver this. Exactly. It's much bigger than party politics. It's much bigger than any of us. How, so what I say to all of you today is join with us join with Stephen, join with our group in calling on this council to deliver a climate change declaration How? today. We need a climate change emergency. As the deputy, as the deputy leader of the Wales Green Party, I'll just say this one thing. Vote Green. Vote Green. Whenever you have the opportunity, vote Green. Everyone, they need to come together. We're an alliance. Yeah. I'm going to go with Abby, and I'm going to say the old two-horse race of it's Labour and the Conservatives bad. has failed the people of Britain. It has failed our young people. It has failed us all. It's about time we had a more diverse political political world, rather than just the famous two-horse race who pretend they stand for something, whereas in fact we just had a Conservative saying he wants to change, save the planet. And in the councillors, we've got a lot of Labour councillors who blocked Stephen's motion. So the world is turned upside down. How about we vote Green?
Yeah! 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 Yeah!